Welcome to WWMS Student News for the week of June 11th. This is Mr. Block. This is our final official broadcast of our student news for the 2019-2020 school year. I hope you've enjoyed all our episodes. Uh, there will be other edits and other things added to my YouTube channel, but this is our final student produced for this year. If you're interested in student news for next year, we'll have a meeting at the beginning of the school year. Hopefully we can get that going next year as well. I want to thank all my wonderful students who've worked on it. We've had 14 students that worked on it throughout the year, and they've done an incredible job. So I hope you finished up your learning. You got till Friday morning uh, to get everything in Schoology and so everybody can see and you can get credit for the school year. Uh, tomorrow, Thursday, there's a student drive-by for the eighth grade for us to celebrate all your learning. I hope you enjoyed the clap out video that was released earlier today. So uh, without any further ado, here's our news for today. It's uh, Mr. Sikora, your proud principal here. Uh, I want to thank the WWMS student news team for reaching out to me and uh, giving me this interview. So without further ado, I'm going to answer some questions that uh, they gave me. First of all, what's my name? Uh, many of you have maybe seen my name on letters, etc. cetera, uh, signed as Don R.J. Sikora. I actually have a very unique name. I'm named after both of my grandfathers. So my mom's dad's name was Don Rutherford, and my dad's dad's name was John Sikora. So I'm named after both of my grandfathers, Don Rutherford, John Sikora. So I have two middle names. So uh, that's, that's the story behind that. Um, what do I do? I'm obviously the proud principal here at the middle school. How many years have I been involved in this profession? This is my 24th year of education. Um, I spent my first nine years as a, as a middle school teacher and then the last 15 years as an elementary uh, school principal and or middle school principal. Uh, do you enjoy being WWMS's principal? Absolutely. I think I have the best job in the world. I would not trade my job for anything. Um, what other job can you say you can wake up every day and just look forward to going to work? So I love seeing all the kids every day and the staff and it just, uh, it just, it just makes my day every day. Um, what's my favorite quarantine snack? Not too big on snacks. Cheez-Its are probably my number one snack, so I'd have to go with that. Uh, what shows or movies have you been watching? Don't watch a lot of TV, really don't have time for it. So, uh, if anything, I try to watch sports and there hasn't been a lot of sports on lately. Um, what have you been doing lately? I actually have, uh, purchased a new set of golf clubs lately and I've been trying to get, uh, out on the golf course as much as I can. So that's kind of, it's kind of my story as of late. Uh, thanks again. I hope everybody's uh, staying safe and, and takes care of themselves. I want to wish everybody a wonderful summer. Enjoy yourselves, and uh, we'll, we'll see you soon. Hi, everybody. Um, it's Mrs. Volker. If you don't remember me from not seeing me for so long, I am your proud assistant principal here at Warren Woods Middle School. Um, I'm answering these survey questions for our awesome news team. I'd like to thank them for keeping you guys all in the loop during this closure and they've done something that our building has never had before so news team you are awesome this is my um, i'm finishing my 12th year here at warren woods middle school this is my first year in the role of assistant principal but 11 years before that i taught in a bunch of different locations i've taught ela and math and i've actually had six classrooms in the district over those last 11 years. I am very, very happy now to have my office um, with my beautiful blue wall that some of you have been able to see. 
Um, I love being assistant principal. I love teaching too. I love math and language arts, but being assistant principal has given me the opportunity to interact with more kids in the building and work with our teachers. And I really can't say how much I miss seeing all of you guys doing funny stuff in the hallway and having fun at lunch and, and being into classrooms and seeing you learn. So I really, really miss those opportunities and I can't even tell you how much I'm looking forward to seeing you all in these halls again. Um, I've been spending my time trying to make sure that things are going well here at the middle school, making some of those paper packets for work and checking in with teachers and students over this time. Um, my own kids are at home, so I've been spending a lot of time with them when Mr. Volker is at work. We're kind of trying to balance that out. It's been challenging, but my son Carl, or we call him Cece, he is finishing kindergarten. So we've been using Schoology at home as well, trying to navigate that and working on reading and writing. Um, my son Rowan is two and a half and he's learning to you know, talk and do lots of other funny stuff. We got a new play set at home, so we've been doing a lot of things outside. Um, and we've been taking a lot of walks. I don't watch a lot of TV um, because I, I don't have a lot of time, but I've been trying to re-watch shows that I've liked from before that kind of eliminate some of my stress, so like Friends and Parks and Rec. I've been watching some mystery shows too, um, so those are kind of fun to watch when I'm by myself. And then there's a lot of Mickey Mouse in my house and a lot of PJ Masks and those other kind of kid shows. So thank you again to our news team. Thank you to our awesome Warren Woods teachers and, and students, and I really miss you guys. Be safe this summer, make good choices, and I hope to see you all soon. Hello, Warren Woods students. My name is Mr. Clark. I'm a seventh grade science teacher at Warren Woods Middle School. I've been there for 24 years. This just ended my 24th year. Student News asked me to answer a couple questions. One, what was my favorite snack during the quarantine? Well, I'm not going to lie, it's Dairy Queen's Peanut Buster Parfait. I've had a couple of them, which is why we're only doing a chest up shot because I think I gained 30 pounds. Then they asked me what movies I've been watching. Well, in my free time, I haven't been watching any movies at all. I've been out here at this farm taking care of asparagus. So I'm going to give you a little mini lesson on asparagus. Asparagus takes three years before you can harvest it. It's a perennial, that, which means it comes back every year. Down here is how they start off. These came from seedlings. I'm not even sure if you can see it. It's not the weed, it's this. This is asparagus. The weeds have to go away so that they don't choke them out. After a year, they look like this. A little bit bigger than my hand but they'll grow another foot tall this year and when they've matured they look like this they're as tall as i am actually they're taller than me a little bit you don't pick them when they look like that those have gone to fern which is strengthening the root however this one right here you pick it at the ground level and when they come fresh out of the field, they taste better than anything you've ever had in the store. I hope everybody has a great summer. I hope those in the sixth and seventh grade that I get to see you next year. Have a good day. teaching science for one year. Originally my degree was elementary education which meant that I would teach all subjects but since I came to the middle school I'm able to teach science all day every day which I love it. Um, my favorite quarantine snack has been pita chips. I've been snacking on the flavored ones. I like the Stacy's garlic pita chips and also um, some salted ones. I just like that there's so many flavors too so I can overindulge on all kinds of pita chips. And I have been watching a lot of Friends because they took it off of Netflix. I have to watch my box set, so I pull out my DVD player and watch it on the DVDs instead. But it's a good show, makes me laugh, and gives me a little pick-me-up through all of some of these stressful times.